So sometimes horticulture terms are just a little confusing. So I'm with Jan McNeilan, so who knows everything? No. <laughs> a lot of it. And so if you can kind of run us through different terms for herbaceous plants, and so maybe we can start with annuals. Annuals are like marigolds, petunias, lobelia, all of the stuff that normally we used to only put in hanging pots and flower beds, and now pots are mixes of annuals and perennials. Um, but it's, these are the ones that are more tender when it's cold in the spring. So if, I think we could get away with it now, but right. if I would have planted those a week or two ago, they would sit in the cold soil and turn purple because they can't take up the nutrients that are in the soil. But that's an annual. In one year, it completes its life cycle, dies off, and that's the end of that one. And when you mean life cycle, so it, it grows green leaves, it flowers, goes to seed, and then by the end of the season, it dies. Yes. Yes, you can, and a lot of things you can save seed, especially marigolds, right. and start the process again the following year. All right. So then we go to perennial. What's that? A perennial is a plant that um, will live season after season. This is a sage plant. I mean, it's going to, I put it in and it's going to stay there and grow and get bigger. And sometimes maybe a hard winter is going to kill off a perennial but most of the time it comes back. Some of them are more or less evergreen like this is, but some of them are like deciduous and die back down to the ground, but come up again. Okay. Just like there's a, a, a sage over here, J Jerusalem sage, it's not really a sage, but um, that one comes back every year. It's come back from some really hard freezes and still flowers and looks looks really good. And it still will set seed. It yes. still does that life cycle. Yes. But then it's kind of perpetual. It comes right. back every right. year. Right, right. And then there's something in between an right. annual and a perennial called a biennial. And that one's kind of confusing. A biennial takes two seasons to complete its life cycle. So one season is the plant itself and the next season is the flower. And then it seeds itself and then the next season after that, the third year, uh, then those seeds germinate and you get another plant that takes another year to have the flower. So it's, uh, it takes, the by part is two seasons to like a foxglove. And there's a, a number of biennials that are out there that um, so if you read it, you'll know it's going to take you two seasons to get the flowers. Unless you buy it in the pot already flowering, then that's fine. But you're not going to get a flower from that plant the following year. Right, right. And so you want that one to go to seed. You want yeah. to kind of spread it around and so you right. make that cycle go again. Right. Ah, I think you've made it so much easier to really kind of call it out. We kind of throw these terms out and then we don't explain them. And I think that's part of the confusion. So we hope that you've learned something for this little bit of um, tips about annuals, perennials, and biennials. Thanks so much, Jan. See ya.